It's Gucci, everybody. It's Asia here again, and today we're going to be talking about the print statement in Python. And what the print statement allows you to do is it allows you to show output in Python. And more specifically, we're going to be talking about the print statement in Python 3, which is improved and better than the print statement in Python version 2. So please make sure whatever Python version you're using, you know that you're using version 3, not 2. Maybe I'll make a video on print version 2, print version 2 for Python version 2 as well. But without further ado, let's go. So the print statement is used to give output. Output and input are very two important things in program, right? Like when you give Facebook all your preferences, or Google all your preferences, you know, it outputs, you know, your favorite things or tries to find your favorite things so that you can buy them and Facebook seems like a more friendly environment and you stay on longer and so they get billions of hungry, hungry, hungry hippo dollars. So what we can do is work on, learn about this print statement. So like in Python, I'm going to declare a variable. I'm going to call it a equal to 34, which is an integer. And now I'm going to print out a. And the way you do that is you do the keyword print, and then you have parentheses surrounding whatever you want to print. So I'm going to print out a. I'm going to run the program. And now I get, I get 34, which is pretty nice. So <clears throat> I get 34. As you can see, clearly it didn't print out the variable. It printed out the value of the variable, which was 34. Let's say, hey, I want to print out a integer and a string. This is B. And then, so now I want to print out a string along with A. What I can do is in the print statement, I can go to it. I can click, I can do A comma B. And what this does is it will separate the variables, but it will print them both out on the same line by automatically. So what we can do is if I run this program, I get 34, this is B. Notice that when I put a comma to separate the two types of variables, because you need the comma to separate the different types, or just, you need a comma to just separate the different variables so they don't mash together, that's an error. And so I get 34 and then it automatically, the print statement automatically put a space in between for me. And then it said, this is B, it printed out the string. And also, you know, I, I don't, I can put anything I want in this statement. I can print out 24.235 and I can have this print out. And again, I get 34, this is B. And then I get a space automatically after that. 20, and then I get 23.345, so that's pretty cool. And as you noticed here, the print statement automatically puts a space in between for me. So let me change this, or let's try to change this. What if we wanted a comma there instead? What we could do is we pass in the sep, sep parameter, and what the sep parameter stands for is separation. And so we're going to change how we separate the variables. And by default, it's a space. That's why I tried to point out there's a space between the 34 and this is B, and there's a space between the string and the 23.345. So right now I'm going to change it to a comma and I'm going to run this program again and I don't have any spaces in between the variables this time. Instead I have 34 comma this is B exclamation mark comma 23.345 which is pretty nice. So right now, um, so this is pretty cool. This is some power of the print statement. So now what I also want to do is I want to print is I'm going to print out something else. I'm going to print out 100. On this, the, on, I'll make another print statement and I'm going to print out 100. And when I run this program, um, something may happen that you just take, that you don't even think about. And what happened is when I do a set, every, what I did the second print statement, the 100 automatically printed out on a new line. It didn't print out after the 23.345, it printed after on a new line. And so that is again, like I showed you, the default for a, for the separation is a space and we change it to a comma the default for the default for the end of a print statement or when a print statement finishes is to advance a new to a new line for the output so it did that and it advanced to the new line and automatically a new line was generated so what we're going to do here is we're going i'm going to give it parameters to change i'm going to give it parameters again to change what happens when the print statement gets to its end and by default, it's this slash n, which stands for new line, if you did not know. It's a backslash n. And so if I ran this, I shouldn't get any changes. And I don't. But instead of slash n, I'm going to change it to just a space. And then we're going to run this program. And hopefully, everything is on one line. Because now the first print statement doesn't advance to a new line. Um, so see, as you got, I have a, now just have a space separating the 23 and the 100. I would like to note that when I print out this 100, I do go to the next line. I just haven't printed anything out. 
I'll copy it down for you guys, because I did not define the print statement on line seven right here to have, to um, have, to, I didn't define its end, so by default, it's still a new line. So the, the 100 on line eight will still get printed to a new line because I didn't define it. And so that's pretty cool. I just wanna note that um, with the separation and end techniques, you can put anything in between them. You can do anything. You can, if you need to put something insane, like I just did, you can do it. So I get 34 and you this, whatever, and then this is B question mark, and I get and you this, and I get separator 23.45. So I can do crazy separators. I can just do multiple spaces. I can do a period maybe for the end. I can make everything end like a period. And so, yeah, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Um, that's all I got for today. One thing I want to show you guys is if you are interested, I want to show you that if you guys go to um, www.github.com and um, you go on AJN123 and you go to my Python tutorial here, AJN123, that's me, and then go to Python tutorial. I have all these tutorials on GitHub, all these files you can look through that kind of show you, you know, print statements. I only have one for Python 3 because Python 2 is so similar, but you can look through all the code, you can look through um, basics, and you can look through all the functions and all my definite and like all my comments on things that I kind of want. Sorry, it's getting cut off but you can look at all my tests and things that I hope to cover in videos later, but the code examples are nice to follow along with too. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope everything is to your satisfactory. Comment if you don't like it and I hope you have a great day.